Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. First, sick Australians and their desperate families have been fighting to have medical cannabis legalised. Tonight, the people who say the oil ec extract from the cannabis plant improves their quality of life. It is a life-saving medicine. It just got worse and worse till it was up to 100, 200 seizures a day. I'm not about to give up. Ready? Ashley Don is dying. I have an incurable cancer. Severely disabled Sully Peak suffers terrifying seizures. <laughs> They're both using a drug that helps relieve their suffering, but it's illegal. We've seen grace grateful patients and their carers whose lives have been transformed by this. Come over here, come on, come on, lay down. I had no quality of life. I would be in bed all day, every day. I could barely function. 56-year-old Ashley Don was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2009. Came as quite a shock and um, went through a lot of treatments, you know, um, uh, radiation, um, chemo, bone marrow transplant, which uh, it's, which damn near killed me. That was uh, that was a horrible thing to go through, and years and years of medication. One, two, three. Those treatments took their toll. Ashley needed an alternative, and he found it in this oil. I was fighting a lot of demons, you know, about my legal beliefs, my moral beliefs, my ethical beliefs, you know, my health beliefs about drugs. But it got to the stage where I was so desperate and I was so sick all the time and in a, in a complete stupor that I, um, that out of desperation, I tried to source medicinal cannabis oil. It was a big call for a former police officer, but oh, Ashley yeah, says cannabis oil works. I'm not saying that, you know, it was a miracle cure and everything else, but it made a huge difference to my pain. The oil is a concentrated extract made from the cannabis plant. It's a product used specifically for medical use. It not only helps cancer sufferers with pain, but it also stimulates appetite and has been shown to help children with severe epilepsy. Seven-year-old Sully Peak can't speak, walk, or even feed herself. She once endured hundreds of seizures every day. Her diagnosis has been cerebral palsy, causes unknown. Demyelination or lesion on the brain causes unknown. And now it's gone to um, an undetermined complex neurological disorder. Dad Steve says after trying mainstream medicine, he turned to medical cannabis. It's had an amazing effect. She hasn't been to hospital for epilepsy since she's been on the cannabis oil. She's far more alert, she's more aware, because she's not on any medication at all. And she's just got a better quality of life now. Steve says he knows what he's doing is illegal, but he doesn't care. We've been told we will not get amnesty. We are still breaking the law and we could still be prosecuted at any time. Cannabis is a life-saving herb that has been in the use of humanity for thousands and thousands of years. Andrew Catalaris has long campaigned for medical cannabis to be legalised. In fact, the former doctor was struck off the medical register in 2005 for conducting research into the drug. Despite being arrested dozens of times for producing the oil, he continues to source it for desperate families. There is tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people could benefit very greatly from the provision of medical cannabis. I mean, the first 10 or 20,000 would be just the urgent, life-saving ones. In 2006, Andrew was also convicted of cannabis cultivation after police raided his farm, seizing 48,000 plants. At the time, a current affair highlighted his long history of drug use. Well, he's a doctor who's been convicted over a $40 million cannabis crop. Are you concerned that what you're doing is illegal? I have no fear of police or politicians. I, I answer to a much higher authority than whatever the state or federal government of this country can actually muster. While he agrees that ongoing research into the drug is needed, he believes those who are suffering should be allowed to use it now. 
There's very few conditions we've treated where cannabis hasn't been a great assistance, but in the area of intractable childhood epilepsy, there is nothing to compare with it. So if I were to ingest mm. that now, what sort of effect would that have on me? Okay. This is a high CBD uh, extraction, and as such, it lacks a psychotropic effect. Uh, you may have a sense of wellness, um, you may have a sense of gentle relaxation like a, a neuropathy. Today, Andrew is working with staff at this wellness clinic, the only centre in the country working with patients specifically using the oil. So how is this cannabis actually being administered to okay. these patients? The cannabis can be prepared in a number of different ways and administered either orally, it can be by mucosal spray, it can be done by vaporising. While it is still technically illegal to use cannabis, that could soon change. Next week, clinical trials will begin here in Australia as the federal government introduces legislation allowing the cultivation of cannabis. So when will patients be able to access the legal product? Well, that's expected to happen next year. We need to make the distinction between you know, the illegal sort of use for social purposes of cannabis and what we can use in the medical setting. New South Wales president of the Australian Medical Association, Saxon Smith, says while the trials will delay the availability of the oil, they still need to be done. And despite the success stories, he warns there are still dangers. The difficulty with all the evidence to date is that there's no one plant being used and no one part of the plant or way by which it's administered. Despite the legal risks, Andrew continues to source medical cannabis for those in need. To our critics, I say this, we are doing good. We can document the good we're doing. Uh, we simply need not to be interfered with. We're talking about, you know, under the tongue, just maybe, you know, maybe six to eight drops. It doesn't seem like much, but Ashley says it has a profound effect. It doesn't actually make you high. I didn't get high from it. I didn't get dizzy from it. I didn't get sick from it. My appetite increased. You know, I went from, you know, 64 kilos um, up to about 70. The difference it made to the pain was incredible for me. He says he'll continue to fight to use the oil as he continues to fight for his life. I am terminal and I've come to terms with that and that's fine, but something needs to be done. And Victorian children with severe epilepsy will take part in a, cl a clinical trial examining the medical benefits of synthetic cannabis.